Dr. Prodi, you are among the world statesmen who knows India very well. Now, what are the problems of democracy in a developing country, taking India as a model? Well, uh, it's difficult to, to talk from inside of this very difficult problem, but I think that uh, Italy and India have been very, have had very similar problems, you know. Of course, each country must find its own way, you know, but uh, the problem is that uh, uh, stability means and uh, requests strong coalitions with rules, and the rules must be set before the elections in, in order to give, uh, let's say, five years of government. This is what we need, you know, both. Italy and India. I mean, you faced a problem in your country, and they almost plucked out a technocrat yourself. And you are now leading that country to economic uh, renewal. How would you like that model to be replicated in India? Oh, uh, I don't think that the technocrat is the right man to run a state, you know. Uh, I think that in any case, it must be a politician, you know. If he has a technical capability, that's better. But we have to be very careful to divide the responsibility of politicians and the responsibility of the public administrations, you know. Dr. Prodi, there seems to be a continuing nexus between democracy, electoral politics, and big business leading to corruption. Uh, how do we eliminate this evil? Corruption, you, you fight corruption only through change. Don't, you know, you may invent controls, uh, uh, very severe judgment structure, fine, it works. But in democracy, uh, the only weapon against corruption is change. You know, and this is why I'm so linked to the alternatives in power. Last time I was talking to you, you said, you cannot insulate the system from corruption. You can minimize it, not eliminate it. It is our duty to do everything to fight against corruption. But as I hinted in the previous uh, answer, uh, please, the, politi the politician must be punished through change. This is the normal way. Of course, there is also the possibility to go to jail for the extreme case. But corruption is something that is more diffuse than we think. It's not only bribery, it's not only theft. It's also, you know, making justice in appointments, uh, uh, abuse um, in the, you know, the daily decisions. This is corruption. The ASEAN economies seem to have uh, taken a beating in recent months. What do you think has happened? And what impact will this have, this one fact of their, these economies having tumbled, have on our relationships, on the Indian economy? I am less pessimist than the average about the Asian economy, you know. Uh, we have some big problems, especially you know, Thailand, uh, South Korea now, but the fun fundamentals generally are not so bad, you know. The financial markets are, are horribly uh, knitted together, you know, uh, but, uh, and so I think that uh, we have, we, I mean Western society, has to help, but in a very different way than before. So when do you think will the euro actually come into being? May the 2nd will be taking the decision and January the 1st of the next year the euro will take place. Uh, will Britain, will Tony Blair be on board? No, he will not be on the board because UK decided not to be in the euro from the start. My personal opinion, and I repeat, is my personal opinion that uh, they cannot stay out long because um, make the scenario when uh, some German bon banker 
will ask the government to give a lot of money to uh, strengthen the Frankfurt Stock Exchange or some French, the Paris Stock Exchange, uh, would be impossible for UK to say out. What impact will the coming into being of the euro have on our bilateral trade economic relations with you, with other European countries? Because there will be a little disorientation, would they not be? No, 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 no. The impact on the bilateral trade is nil because we, well, it's favorable because we use only one currency to deal with Italy, France. Uh, we do. But uh, the importance is which will be the relation with the American dollar. Mm. India will keep, of course, will keep a lot of reserves in the euro, if the euro is successful. Thank you very much, Dr. Pradeep.